Hey guys, this is Justin at The Survivor Review, and today I'm going to be talking about Episode 4 of Ash vs. Evil Dead, titled Brujo, which continues just the wild craziness and all-around fun that this show has had since the beginning. This episode begins with Ash, Pablo, and Kelly going to Pablo's uncle, who's a shaman and they believe can help him with the whole deadite problem. His uncle ends up giving Ash this hallucinogenic medicine to help him see inside himself, which leads to just this crazy and wild drug trip for Ash. And while all that's going on, we find out more info about Lucy Lawless's character, Ruby, and we find out that she is the daughter of the guy who found the Book of the Dead, and is the sister of the main character from Mule Dead 2, and she believes that Ash is the one behind this all, and he's the one that killed her family and everything, which is really interesting. I didn't expect it to take that route, but there's a lot more to the character that we don't know of, because there's a scene where this deadite comes back to life and sees her there and goes, we know who you are, you are, and then she cuts off his head before he can say anything else. So what does that mean? What is she? I'm really interested to find out more about her character. There's more to her than just the daughter of the guy who found the Book of the Dead. And then I love the reveal that she has Ash's hand from Evil Dead 2. I love seeing that hand again. That's just so cool that she has that hand. And I love that. And then there's an interesting reveal with Kelly. The fact that she is possessed by the Deadite from the last episode. And I didn't expect that. And that's really interesting. And I love how we still get to see more of that Deadite. He was not just a one-off Deadite from the third episode. That's all we're ever going to see of him. He's going to play a bigger part in this show. And I love that. Because this character, again, the design is so amazing. It's so scary. When we're in Ash's drug trip and we see inside the cabin and he turns and he sees the Deadite's hands just come out of the doorway and he just slowly comes out and he's like crawling. That stuff is scary. That Deadite is terrifying and I love it. And I love that it's appearing in more than just one episode and I hope it appears throughout the show. The majority of this episode takes place inside Ash's drug trip which is just a ton of fun. Again, it's, just, it's wild and crazy. I love how it starts when he sees the eyeball inside the shaman's mouth he just, and he bites down on it. Dude, don't eat the eyeball, no! I love that moment. And just all the crazy stuff where he talks to his lizard, Eli, and he's in Jacksonville, Florida. That's like Ash's happy place, and I love that. Just interesting um, aspects to the character that you never really saw before. And you get, to see, you get to see the doll again from the first episode, and just, I love all that stuff inside there. And speaking of stuff you never got to see before, we finally reveal what the force is that's going through the woods throughout the movies. We finally reveal what that is. And it's just a cloud, kind of, and they call it a drafter. Now, I like that they gave it a name. That's really interesting, just expands the mythology. Like how the last episode revealed like who wrote the Book of the Dead and that kind of stuff. I like this expanding of the mythology, like giving that force a name. But I didn't really like seeing it. I don't know, it's just... I think after all these years and all this build-up, the reveal of what it is could never live up to what you think it is. And finding out that that's just like a green cloud, it's like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't really feel the need to show that. They didn't need to show that. That's the thing. I liked them giving it a name that's cool and it expands mythology, but I just didn't think you needed to actually see what it is. And it just kind of takes away from it. Maybe if you're like a new fan to the series and to this universe, you'd be like, oh, that's a cool reveal. But if you're a long-time fan who's been living with these movies for all these years, finally finding out what that is is very underwhelming. It's just like, eh. Eh. This episode is great, even though it doesn't actually push the story forward much at all. All this episode is just like a drug trip with Ash. And that's it. There's not a whole lot of story here, but what it does best is it adds a bunch of layers to characters and has a bunch of cliffhangers that you want to get to see resolved as the show progresses. You have Kelly being possessed by the Deadite. I want to see where that goes. Ruby and her whole quest to kill Ash. And now that we know that there's a, there's a connection to the movies with her, but there's more to it. And the fact that she's working with the cop Amanda now, and that's really interesting. Pablo is making a new hand for Ash this robotic hand, and that's just really cool. I want to see that fully realized as the show moves forward. It's just a great episode for developing characters and all that stuff, because we still have five episodes left, so it's okay that this one doesn't really add too much to the story. We got time for more story, and it was just a blast to watch. A step up from the third episode, which I thought was just fun, but nothing special. This one's a lot better than that, and a lot greater, just a lot of fun. 
So that's episode four of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Awesome, just leads you wanting more. Like, not just because it's only like a half hour and you want to see more, just from story-wise and from characters, I want to see where this goes and how it progresses. I so badly, I cannot wait for next week. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. When evil shows up, it blows up. Still working on the slogan.